I go back to what I said before. This was a winnable football game. You look at the line for Alex Smith as a quarterback, okay? Alex Smith, 19 to 26, 149 yards, one interception, and one touchdown. Kellen Moore, when I look at the play calls here, Dallas had 57 offensive plays, 35 passes, 18 runs. Scott Turner, the offensive coordinator for Washington, had 66 plays, had 27 passes versus 36 runs, and they kept the ball for 36 minutes. Washington wasn't taking Terry McLaurin and beating you down the field with him. I know. He was on my fantasy team. He never broke anything for a big, long touchdown like he did before. They nickled and dimed you with the run and then passes to the running back and the tight end. I mean, this, this was as winnable a football game as you'll ever see. And the Cowboy coaches gave it away. 21 points for Washington in the fourth quarter. Of those three touchdown Ooh. drives, they were, there were two of them that were a grand total of one play. It was the Antonio Gibson um, 23-yard uh, touchdown run after the fake punt that made it 23-16. And then um, after it was uh, 34-16, it was the uh, interception by Sweat that he returned. That was one play drive, 41-16. to 16. I mean, this, this was terrible. I mean, this was just absolutely terrible. And, Barry, I've lost faith, okay? I've lost faith in, in, in the 2020 season because this was you giving it away, okay? You, you gave this to Washington. You gave it away. You said, we don't want it. This is absolutely so hard to watch. I felt bad for those Cowboy fans who paid their good money and took their Thanksgiving day to go out there and watch decisions <laughs> made like this. I feel bad Louis, for those folks. When, when did you lose faith? You just lost faith on Thursday? You know, you had him going three, the, the, three. You had him going three and three and thirteen. <laughs> you just, the, you just you lost, know lost faith on Thursday. <laughs> you know that. You know that. That that. You, you know where you said they had a slim. You know, slim shot. Like I'm looking at, listening to Barry, and li listening to my guy <laughs> with Channel Five, Pat Doney, like. Well, you know, it could. And then I listened to another friend of mine, a Hall of Fame writer. He's like, they're going to win this division just based on everything around. I'm like, okay, okay. And then I saw this. Then I just saw. I said, man, no, nah, man, no. Nah. Let me just stop. Let me get well, back to what I was doing. Let's look at the draft. Let's try to see if we get it for that it top five. It was a bad matchup. No, let, no, let, let me tell you. No, no, that was no, all this, a this bad matchup all around. This, this, yeah. is, bad this, is, what, this all is what bad. Church saw. This is, this is what Church saw that, that made him believe this, that things are going to change. Pittsburgh comes in here on a trap game, and, and, and they play down to our level, and we get somehow close to beating them, and Church is like, oh, yeah, this is the time. The Vikings come in here and they had just won three three straight, but they had been absolutely horrible before then. So and it's still with Kirk Cousins and them. So they weren't just you know all American team, and we beat them. And Church is like, oh, they rolling. We beat somebody with, with a losing record. And all right, this is a competitive team. So now it's gonna ch change the channel for us. We're gonna win. And then Washington came out here and said, remember what we did to you last month? Hold my beer. 